Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel. This is SY here, and today I wanted to talk about something pretty quick. We've had a new banner uh, for Fate Core Annie. Of course, uh, the Fate Core in itself is not new, but they reworked her, and she is uh, better now. So the main uh, the main change was she now gives uh, your fastest unit a uh, 3 mana and a uh, 300 uh, critical hit chance and uh, damage immunity for 2 turns now players say that it's uh, a meta breaker uh, for the dragon blood and I agree um, of course she's, she's gonna help one unit to take out only one uh, one fate core uh, dragon blood so if there is more than one uh, it's still kind of it's still kind of a problem so it's not really a solution to, to the problem with the blo uh, dragon blood uh, meta and when it comes to PvE um, I don't think she's gonna have that much of an effect or or anything on PvE as I said she's a good unit she's just uh, I feel like they reworked her only to to counter this uh, dragon blood meta and yeah so PvE nothing special uh, that's why I mainly talked about uh, PvP so that's why I'm not I'm not summoning for her and another thing well in my opinion in the in the horizon there is something uh, much more scarier and I would like to talk about it and if I'm wrong I wish that someone could correct me as you can see here we have uh, we have those fate cores here uh, are the first guardians uh, it's not uh, completed yet so we still have a couple of heroes that will get the fate core for this first guardians so it means they will get the same abilities as Xeon and um, Fate Core Anastasia and the others and one in particular is really scary which is Rira this is Rira is it over? and the thing about her is as you can see in her kit there is a synergy with a Tranquil Tranquil is given by Bathory so Bathory gives uh, Tranquil to the allies with less attack than her and that's not really a problem because she has a very high attack 1300 and all the other if you take a look at Baraka, uh, Jean she still, uh, she still has more attack than, than those so it's not gonna be a problem of course Rira too so it's not gonna be a problem to give uh, Tranquil to the allies now the problem is uh, other than her uh, passive which is actually a little bit annoying like I don't know why did they give her this uh, she protects uh, the allies with less attack than her um, one time from death so there is no way to one shot with Bathory on the field on your enemy uh, setup so you can forget that now it's not really that of a problem when it comes uh, to the other part of the synergy which is Olum now I mentioned that in, uh, in my other videos uh, Olum has a very high HP and high defense not the highest uh, HP of course the support unit has uh, higher uh, like uh, like Talia, I believe Talia, right? Yes, and Anastasia. But coupled with this defense, Olum is a tank, is a very very heavy tank, and his passive is is kind of stupid. Like, imagine this this scenario with me. You have. Ulum, it doesn't matter if it's the Fate Core or the other normal, uh, in this case it doesn't really matter. The same goes for Bathory, if you have the normal Bathory this will be as annoying as uh, as the Fate Core, it's not, it's not gonna be make a big difference. And now you're 
like in couple of weeks we're gonna get uh, the fate core for rera which is gonna be the same uh, first guardians it means uh, dragon blood wrath uh, and uh, the dragon shield dragon scale so Ulum also synergized with Bathory with his attacks but the problem is with a Tranquil is Bathory and Rira are not that uh, not that tanky so they can uh, they can be killed really fast if it wasn't for Tranquil now you're gonna hit Rira or Bathory and they won't die because of Tranquil uh, the passive for uh, of Bathory now she will drop and then Ulum whenever uh, one of uh, the allies uh, drops below 30% he will provoke and grants himself heal over time so ev every turn he will heal 20% of, of current attack for 5 turns now Ulum doesn't have a high attack but it's still it's still pretty substantial now that means you're not gonna be able to focus your attacks on Rira or Bathory anymore or any other uh, glass cannon unit let's say Baraka or, or Jean and on top of that with Rira and uh, her uh, dragon shield it's it's just gonna even even if you manage to kill Ulum you're gonna have to deal with uh, with a dragon scale because one shot is one one way to to finish off uh, dragon blood units so when if you were able to one shot Xeon there is no dragon shield there is no wrath there is no dragon blood nothing but with Bathory there is no way to one shot and then you're gonna have to deal with Ulum which is a very very annoying uh, unit which is tanky uh, tanky and and uh, with a heal over time for five turns that means Ulum is probably gonna get a turn uh, before uh, you're gonna be able to kill him and if you have like oh no those are three units if you add one healer just like if you if we're saying Anastasia it's it's gonna be it's it's gonna be pretty broken like I have no idea how how are we gonna do deal with this now not even uh, fate core Annie is going uh, to save us from this so I'm, I'm not really sure that's why I didn't uh, summon for Annie she she isn't she's not bad by any means she's definitely a meta breaker but he's just a temporary uh, solution for uh, for our current uh, situation and it's gonna get uglier uh, I hope I'm wrong I, I don't know how are we uh, gonna deal with this but I think we'll have to wait and see when when Rira comes uh, I, I have I already have her as you can see uh, the normal uh, the normal Rira not the fate core so when she drops I'm really interesting I know I know that not a lot of people have uh, Bathory not a lot of players have uh, Bathory or uh, Ulum or this this uh, this complete setup but just think about it um, the people who the players who have uh, the dragon blood units are are people who are willing to spend apparently or getting really lucky I have two dragon blood units I did not summon for Anastasia I did not summon for uh, for Baelish so because I have to manage my my zest and I don't have I don't want to uh, spend it all uh, on one unit and unless I have uh, 13,000 uh, zest for a pity I won't summon for uh, for a unit so and I'm free to play of course until now so this is gonna be annoying with people that are already annoying uh, in arena uh, before uh, fate core Annie came so the people that have many many fated armor and uh, weapons with the with the additional guardian stones and with ton of uh, of annoying units it's only gonna get more annoying uh, and i don't know i think we'll have to wait and see so 
I, I, I did this video uh, late on purpose because if you if you summoned for if you already summoned for Annie then you you really don't wanna uh, listen to anyone just summon for her if you like uh, the the character you shouldn't you shouldn't like focus on meta or meta breaker or anything uh, if you have a uh, fun with with the unit just summon for her on the other side I wanted to do this video for people who who are on the fence they n they're not really sure uh, whether to go for Annie or not whether she's gonna be good on the long run or not I don't believe so but yeah this is my opinion and I just wanted to make this uh, short video uh, saying that I'm not summoning uh, for uh, for Annie and I'm waiting for the upcoming banners and let's see how this will affect uh, PvP so yeah that's that's gonna be it for this video I if I got anything wrong if, if you f feel like I'm not really getting what's going on in this game feel free to tell me in the comments below if you like the video leave a like and uh, consider subscribing to my channel and yeah uh, see you in the next one Bye-bye.